The backhoe you see behind me has been under development in Case Construction Equipment Secret Labs under the name Project Zeus. It's a fully electric backhoe, but don't call it a concept. What is going on everyone? I am Wayne Grayson and you're watching Equipment World where each week we bring you new videos on the latest in construction equipment, gear, and trucks. And we are here in the North Hall of the Las Vegas Convention Center for Con Expo 2020 where Case Construction Equipment has just unveiled their first fully electric backhoe. In this video, we will be giving you all of the details on Project Zeus and this fully electric Case 580 and when exactly you can expect to see one of these backhoes in the field. Let's get into it. One of the larger concerns that most contractors and operators have about electric heavy equipment is power. Can it lift as much and dig as hard as I need it to? But with Zeus, which will be sold under the 580EV model name, you can expect the same power and performance from the 580EV that you would see on a diesel powered backhoe. Case has managed this through a 480 volt, 90 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack that powers the 580EV. This battery pack separately powers the drivetrain and hydraulic motors of the machine, and that is the key for achieving the equal breakout forces to those that you'd find on a diesel powered machine. And when the 580EV is in simultaneous operation of the loader and drivetrain, the battery pack actually delivers better performance than a diesel counterpart. For more detail on the battery pack at the heart of this electric powertrain, we spoke with Eric Zeeser, Case Construction Equipment's Global Product Director for Compact Equipment. But you ask, what is the benefit of that versus the diesel engine? You think about from a performance standpoint, a typical diesel engine coupled to your transmission, your hydraulics, so all that power is going through one source of energy. And a diesel engine at low idle takes time to recover, time to speed up. When you replace that with a 480 volt lithium ion battery, you can now split that energy source to a dual drive motor, and a dual hydraulic, and a separate hydraulic motor, giving the ability to power those two independently, giving you peak torque for hydraulics or peak torque for the drivetrain, independent of one another. That also gives you a benefit of saving fuel, saving efficiency, saving energy in this situation. When you're running a backhoe operation, that drivetrain is fully shut off, disabled no longer taking any power consumption from the vehicle. And all on a machine that produces zero emissions, which is a huge detail for utility companies and local municipalities. Charging the battery on the 580EV will take about eight hours in case expects most owners to do so overnight. And once it's fully charged, the 580EV will be able to work about an average of an eight hour shift, depending on the type of work you're doing. Eight would be the average. It could be less than that if they're doing very heavy work, especially with the backhoe end of the machine, uh, as we know. Uh, you'll see four to six hours of usage if you're running a, a very heavy hammer attachment busting out concrete. Uh, but again, uh, recharge time is, is relatively quick for the size of the battery being eight hours. Uh, and plug it in, forget it overnight, come back in the morning, it's ready to go. Now the 580EV represents Case's formal entry into the electric equipment market. And because this is the company's first electric machine, it partnered with two specialist companies around electric equipment. However, we have Green Machine, who is already selling, producing electric mini excavators in the market for approximately six years with a known and, and ready to work technology in that battery system. So working together with Green Machine and Moog as our electric motor supplier, it's been a collaboration between Case, Green Machine, and Moog coming together to leverage expertise of Case on the backhoe loader, our customer base, and knowing how to utilize that product in the marketplace, Green Machine's battery know-how, their experience on the mini excavators, and then Moog's industry-leading provider in electrical components, software, and electric motors, bring that all together to bring the 580EV to life. Now, the 580EV will be priced higher than Case's diesel backhoes, but Case says an electric backhoe could save fleets as much as 90% in annual vehicle service and maintenance costs. We're getting rid of the diesel engine. We're getting rid of the engine and all of those daily checks associated with it and the service and maintenance costs. So think about your daily checks you're doing before you start up the machine. You have to check the oil. You have to check the coolant. You're going to reach over and check the air filter. You're going to get dirty and full of oil. You can avoid all of that with an electric backhoe loader, and you're going to save a lot of money by doing it. 
Case says owners could see a payback on the purchase price premium of the 580 EV over a diesel-powered backhoe in about five years, though some fleets could see that payback even sooner. Now, Case is already in the process of building the production version of the 580 EV, and the company has already sold two units here in the United States to utility companies. And we came to a critical point here where we had to decide which is going to be the first product to launch in the Case lineup with electrification as part of the portfolio. When you look at the compact equipment range, we have mini excavators, we have skid steer CTLs, compact wheel loaders, all being introduced with electrification by various OEMs. But yet nobody's tackled tobacco. Case was the inventor of the backhoe loader in 1957, so it really made sense for Case to be the first fully electric backhoe loader in the marketplace as well, leveraging our DNA, our heritage as, as the backhoe manufacturer and global leader in backhoes. The backhoe is a larger product, a higher horsepower, a higher demand, higher power density required, making it a little more challenging. So Case tackled that high end of the compact equipment range doing the backhoe loader, making it very easy for us to scale down to, to adopt this technology now in the 580 EV, and bring that down to our smaller product line in the next coming years. But on top of that, customer demand. Who are the key customers that are really going to want to focus on electrification? Municipalities, urban environments, utility companies. For the next year or so, Case is going to build 580 EVs in response to demand. But it plans to ramp up production over the next few years. Now, the production model of this electrified backhoe that will hit job sites will not look exactly like the Zeus show floor model that you see here. Instead, they're going to look a lot more like a normal 580, though they will run much, much quieter. That powers the power train. Another electric train that powers the hydraulics. So we have the same power and performance, but it has instantaneous torque. So, it, so you're not losing any efficiencies of the drive train or the hydraulics. We're going to get Rob off to the job site. He's driving down to the job site. The paint job that you see on this machine here, which kind of combines a metallic orange and a flat black, along with these stylized headlights and the wraparound taillights, those aren't very practical for real-world job sites, and they were mainly added to this machine to distinguish it from the diesel-powered machines at the show. In fact, when these electrified backhoes hit the job site, you might not even be able to tell a 580 EV from a 580. Not only will the 580 EV look like its diesel-powered counterparts, but it will have many of the same features found on Case's current in-series lineup of backhoes. For instance, the 580 EV has the same cab, premium seat options, and joystick controls found on the current 580N. We migrate that in the 580 EV using all the existing features we have in a Case backhoe loader, giving them the feel and the comfort, performance, equivalent backhoe performance. You have the same hydraulic system as a 580 backhoe. So with that, they have the same breakout forces when doing a backhoe operation or loader operation. But now with electric motors and a, and a battery pack, they've now actually got now increased torque response by having instant torque and low idle. And they now got the separate drive motors, giving them a better breakout force when doing a combined tractive effort and a loader operation. Now, a lot of people that have come to the booth today to see the Project Zeus machine have stopped actually and looked at the tires of this machine. And that's because it's a unique tire model made by Michelin called Cross Grip. They have a non directional tread design that Case and Michelin say provides better handling and a more comfortable ride on road, grass, and snow. On this vehicle in particular, we talked to Michelin and figure out, you know, what is it we need to do on a, a, a backup loader and B, electric technology. You know, the goal is really to provide the proper comfort, but also noise reduction and efficiency. You've taken out that diesel engine, you've reduced that noise level, so now when you're driving down an asphalt down the road, the standard noise of a lug pattern, you know, could be a little more offensive or drive more noise you typically have, you don't have the diesel engine drown that out. They talk about efficiency, we talk about vehicles that are being roaded quite a bit on a job site, the backhoe is ideal for that reason, it gives you mobility within the cities and the urban areas, but now you're trying to maximize, let's say, the fuel economy, but here you're maximizing energy efficiency. So the cross grip tire from Michelin gives you a non-directional tread pattern, but also gives you a very good low rolling resistance, creating a high efficiency while driving down the road. But then you convert to off-road, you also have a great on-off-road capability for dual directional in the mud, in the snow, in the dirt. So that is going to wrap it up for us here at the Case Construction Equipment booth at ConExpo 2020 looking at the Project Zeus 580 EV electric backhoe. Let us know what you think of this electric backhoe in the comments below. We always love to hear your thoughts and questions. What do you think of an eight hour battery life? What do you think are the potential benefits of having an electrified machine besides it being quieter and having zero emission? And if you like this video or found it useful in any kind of way, do us a favor and hit the like button below. It helps us out with the old YouTube algorithm. 
And if you want more videos on construction equipment, gear, and trucks, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications so you're getting up-to-the-minute alerts whenever we drop a new video. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.